Welcome intellectuals to our today's tutorial in Earth Geometry Part 2. If you have not watched the Part 1 of Earth Geometry, where we are locating points on the Earth surface, please make sure you watch that first video and then come back to this. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that whenever we post that new video, you are able to be notified and you become one of those that are benefiting from our channel. And in case if there are people that are interested with the online classes, we have some online classes that are going on, on Zoom. So if you are interested, we have uh, subjects like mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry, biology, accounts. So if you are interested in some of those subjects, even at junior level, we also teach integrated science as well as mathematics junior. So if you are interested, I'll put the link in the description. So make sure you click on that link, you'll be able to be helped. Okay, so we have this question here, which says, WX, so WX, Y, and Z are four points on the surface of the Earth, as shown in the diagram below. Take pi as 3.142. Ara as 3437 in nautical miles. The first question says, calculate the difference in latitude between W and Y. For us to calculate the difference in latitudes, I'll make this point clear. When you are calculating, remember the latitudes, we say D, it's either it's a north or a south. So if you have Two towns, you are trying to calculate the um, difference in latitudes. If one is on the North Pole, the other one is on the South Pole. It means there the poles are different. So what you do is you add their latitudes. But if they are both only, one is on the South Pole, again another one is on the same side of the hemisphere, then again on the South side. So same poles, you subtract. This goes to the longitudes as well. WW, you subtract, but W East, you add the longitudes. So in this case, because we are dealing with the latitudes, we are going to add the latitudes. Why? If you look at where W is and where Y is, W is seated on latitude 80 degrees north. Y is seated on latitude 30 degrees south so north south different poles we're supposed to add there so we'll add 80 plus 30 where we'll get 110 so in that case that is the difference in latitudes between w and y so two marks there then we come to the second question calculate the distance in nautical miles between x and z along the longitude 105 degrees east. Of course, if you look at X and Z, they are seated on the same longitude. So, yes, some questions they will specify to say you are calculating distance along so so. But some questions they will just say, find the distance of X and Z. So you, you have to identify. So in this case, our X and Z, they are seated on the same longitude, but different latitudes. So here, we'll do the same thing. Firstly, we're supposed to introduce the formula for calculating distance along the longitude. Now, the longitudes are great circles, meaning they cut the earth into two equal halves. Okay, so the longitudes, you use the same, so they have the same radius as that of the earth. Okay, so their formula if you are trying to use the formula for calculating distance of, along the longitudes, a simplified one, this is the formula here. So xz is equal to theta over 180 multiplied by pi r. So here, the pi we've been given, the r we've been given. What about this theta on top here? Where do we get this theta? So now that's where we're going back to, the, to our question. We'll look at, we'll find their difference in the 
longitude in their latitudes i mean because they are seated in the same longitude meaning they are on different latitudes so we'll find the difference in their latitudes that that will become our theta so if you look at where x is seated on it is 80 degrees where north good then z is 30 degrees where south so in this case this simply means we will need to add because north and south different poles we're supposed to add so 80 plus 30 again we're finding 110 so we have the value for theta then now we can proceed with the formula there so we have substituted where there's theta we've put 110 where there's pi we've put 3.142 times where there's radius we've been given here the radius 3437 in nautical miles divided by 108 so get your calculator and multiply what is 110 multiplied by this multiplied by also 3437 so our answer there will be correct so you need to be able to get this value here so we have this answer here on top divided by 180 i hope we are all there okay so once you do that you divide it by 108 so divide that 1 million uh, by uh, 180 so we are getting this answer here when you divide when you divide it by 180 now remember if you check the instructions on your question paper they say if your answer is not exact okay if your answer is not exact you make sure that you leave your answer to three significant figures so in this case because we have a thousand which is the integral part of your decimal fraction so in this case the decimal places these values that are after the point will not have any use we are going to deal with the the part which is the integral part of your our decimal fraction so we need to remain with three numbers that are important that's what it means when you say significant figure so in this case i'm going to strike just here because i have one two three so i'm ending here where there is this first nine so I'll check. This 9 is in the range where I'm supposed to add the 1 to my rounding digit. So I'll add the 1 to 9, which will become a what? It will become a 10. So now, because it has become a 10, I cannot write a 10. I'm going to write a 0 in place of a 9. And this 9 where I've gotten a 1 from, because it is part of the integral, I'm not going to eliminate it. Uh, it will also become a 0. Okay. But these decimal places will be removed completely just there. Then this 5, getting a 1 that, that we've gotten from the 10, we are cutting it to 5. The 5 becomes a 6. So our final answer there becomes 6,600 in nautical miles. That is to three significant figures. So we have found the first question, that is the distance along the longitude. Then find the calculated distance in nautical miles between y and z along the circle of latitude 30 degrees south. So coming back to this question, latitudes are not great circles except for the equator. Why are we saying they are not great circles? It's because all the latitudes apart from, ah, get me correct today, all the latitudes apart from the equator all the latitudes they are not cutting the earth into two equal halves meaning their radius is not the same as that of the earth so we use a trigonometrical method to uh, for us to come up with the formula that we are going to use so the formula in this case will be quite different from that one because this latitude we have here it is not the equator. The equator has zero degrees. So if you see, if if we are seated on the zero degrees, it means we are going to use this formula here because the equator is also a great circle. But now this type of latitude where X, where Y and Z are seated on, it's not a great circle. So in this case, you are going to be putting the cos X on your formula. Okay. So don't get confused with this alpha we have used on top. It is also meaning the angle. 
So now here, the theta was the difference in latitude. In this case, because they are seated in the, on the same latitude, it means they are on different longitudes. So difference in their longitude, that will be the value for this alpha on top here. So you check y is seated on longitude 15 degrees west. Then z is seated on longitude 105 where? East. East, west. You've seen there, west, east. Already different poles. So different poles, what do you do? We have said you are supposed to add because the poles are different. So in this case, we'll add what is 15 plus 105. So we are going to get the value for alpha as 120 degrees there. I hope we are following each other. Then the x. The x is the latitude where your two points are seated on. So in this case, my two points, the y and the z, they are seated on latitude 30 degrees south. That is your value for x. So introduce it on your formula. Then as usual, you're going to multiply everything. Multiply 120 times this, times 3437, times cos 30 degrees. What answer are you getting? So you're going to get that value on top. Then don't round it off. Just write as it is. Please don't feel lazy. You round it off at the end. Then once you have that value, divide it by 180. So dividing by 180, you are getting this answer. Again, remember our question is saying, I mean our instructions are saying, you are supposed to leave your answers to three significant figures if they are not exact, if it is not a whole number. Again, if you look at the first part, the integral part of this fraction, it is a thousand. So it simply means the whole part after the point is not needed. So I'm just going to deal with it what is before the decimal point. Again, I'll count three numbers. So one, two, three, I'm ending here. Four is less than five. So you can't add the one to three. Okay, so this four will just change because it is also before the point. So it will not be eliminated. It will just become a zero. Then the three will remain a three, then the two, then the six. I hope you are following me there. So the final answer will be the distance there between y and z will be 6,230 nautical miles. So that is how you deal with such questions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching up to the end.